Labor had its day despite the rain. It was unbridled solidarity backed by Prime Minister Davis's promise to defend the dignity of workers. It's going to be with you. I for you, you for me, or I for you, or you for me. Because, because I believe, I believe every Bahamian deserves fairness and dignity. Because I believe every Bahamian deserves security. And because I believe every, Baha every Bahamian deserves one key word, respect. The Prime Minister recalled the government's determination to quiet industrial disharmony upon taking office by signing a memorandum of understanding with labor leaders and establishing an industrial relations unit to address 21 expired agreements. I'm very proud to say, together, we have made real progress. 19 industrial agreements are now under contract. And as for the remaining eight, well, it won't be too long now. We don't believe in leaving anyone behind. It's a partnership Trade Union Congress President Obi Ferguson has gone on record to endorse. Forgetting all the payments that you gave to the, the, the respective unions and the workers. And your willingness to make sure all these industrial agreements are complete. You ought to be given a round of applause yeah. for that. Yeah. Minimum wage increases, retention bonuses, and promotions were also sealed due to the Prime Minister's goal of progress for every worker. Some governments think hard times are a good excuse to shove unions and their leaders aside. I never believed that, and I will not stand for that. Keeping you in the know, this is OPM Press Now.